Becky Thorison at 1030, time for Becky's Business Beat. And joining me today, Nikki Steen, Program Director with the Wound and Hyperbaric Healing Center in Wyndham, Minnesota. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Becky. Good morning. Good morning. You know, you treat a lot of different kinds of wounds there and have patients from all walks of life. Let's talk about that a little bit. Yes, we are set up here as a comprehensive physician-based wound center, and we can take care of all kinds of wounds. We specialize in diabetic ulcers, neuropathic ulcers, pressure ulcers, ischemic ulcers, or ulcers that come from decreased blood flow, but we can also take care of traumatic wounds and skin irritations, surgical wounds, and burns. Wow, that's a wide variety of of types of wounds and injuries that people might have. And uh, you have a number of different treatments that you utilize as well. Yes, absolutely. Um, When people come into our services, they are evaluated very immensely, and we figure out where that wound came from, and that really tells us how to treat the wound. Um, We do a lot of surgical debridements and very specialized wound dressings. We do tissue transplant and bioskin grafts. Um, And we also use hyperbaric therapies um, for not only our wound care patients, um, but for some that have other types of conditions um, like hearing loss and um, maybe some skin changes from radiation therapy. How does one know if hyperbaric um, therapy will help someone? Um, The best way to find out is to come in for evaluation um, where one of our providers and nurses will go through the steps and and kind of figure out where where your wound started from and if it may be a good indication for hyperbaric therapy. And people don't need a referral to come to you. They can come directly to you. Absolutely. They can call us. Um, That's probably the easiest way at 507-831-0686. And we can set up an appointment that way. Um, We can take referrals from physicians, from surgeons, from diabetic educators, from family members. Anyone who has knowledge about the wound can call us and help um, get those appointments arranged. That's so important, and a lot of your focus is on diabetes uh, coming up, especially you're going to be having an awareness campaign on the way. Yes, we um, are getting all geared up for our November Diabetes Awareness campaign and it's really a lot about amputation prevention you know people with diabetes they are very at risk for amputations because their wounds are more difficult to heal so we'll be working with um, people and teaching them about some good diabetes management and and what to do with wounds if you get them well that's good Uh, the awareness and prevention education is so important And you're going to be uh, participating in an event uh, this weekend. Yes, we are going to have a table set up at the Tammy Hall Breast Health Walk here in Wyndham. Um, And that kicks off. um, The walk starts at 9, but we'll be set up about 8 o'clock at the Wyndham Area High School. Um, And it's a great event celebrating breast cancer awareness and, and some memories. Okay, sounds very fun and uh, educational as well, and um, hopefully you can stay warm this weekend. <laughs> yes, yes, we'll, we'll be ready for this weather to pass. <laughs> yeah, oh, good. Well, a lot of great information there and lots online to WyndhamAreaHealth.org. Is that right on the website? That's correct, yes. Okay, well, thanks so much, and uh, you have a great weekend, and indeed, do stay warm up there, Okay. <laughs> All right, sounds great. Thank you. There is Nikki Steen, a program director with the Wound and Hyperbaric Healing Center in Wyndham. You can contact them directly and visit online, WyndhamAreaHealth.org. It's Becky's Business Beat on Campus Radio, KUOO.